Hey YouTube friends and family, I have a story to share. I went to my email today and I found a story that is just really awesome and I want to share it with you. So if you have the time, kick back, relax, and enjoy. The title of the story is Want a Free House? Now, some of you may have heard this or read it. If so, that's okay. For those of you that haven't, I think you'll enjoy it. Want a free house? I was in my neighborhood restaurant this morning and was seated behind a group of jubilant individuals celebrating the coming implementation of the health care bill. I could not finish my breakfast. This is what ensued. They were a diverse group of several races and both sexes. I heard a young man exclaim, Isn't Obama like Jesus Christ? I mean, after all, he is healing the sick. A young woman enthusiastically proclaimed, Yeah, and he does it for free. I cannot believe anyone would think that a free market wouldn't work for health care. Another said, this, the stupid Republicans want us all to starve to death so that they can inherit all the power. Obama should be made a saint for what he did, for those of us less fortunate. At this, I had more than enough. I arose from my seat, mustering all the restraint that I could find, and approached their table. Please excuse me. May I impose upon you for a moment? They smiled and welcomed me to the conversation. I stood at the end of their table, smiled as best as I could, and began an experiment. I would like to give one of you my house. It will cost you no money, and I will pay for all the expenses and taxes for as long as you live there. Anyone interested? They looked at each other in astonishment. Why would you do something like that? Asked a young man. There isn't anything for free in this world. They began to laugh at me, as they did not realize this man had just made my point. I am serious. I will give you my house for free. No money whatsoever. Anyone interested? In unison, a resounding, yeah, filled the room. Since there are too many of you, I will have to make a choice as to who receives this money-free bargain. I noticed an elderly couple was paying attention to the spectacle unfolding before their eyes. The old man shaking his head in apparent disgust. I'll tell you what, I will give it to the one of you most willing to obey my rules. Again they looked at one another, an expression of bewilderment on their faces. The perky young woman asked, what are the rules? I smiled and said, I don't know. I have not yet defined them. However, it's a free home that I'm offering you. They giggled amongst themselves, then the youngest of which said, What an old coot! He must be crazy to give away his home. Go take your meds, old man. I smiled and leaned into the table a bit further. I am serious. This is a legit offer. They gasped at me for a moment. I'll take it, you old fool. Where are the keys, boasted the youngest among them. Then I presume you accept all of my terms then, I asked. The elderly couple seemed amused and entertained as they watched from the privacy of their table. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. Where do I sign up? I took a napkin and wrote, I give this man my home without the burden of financial obligation so long as he accepts and abides by the terms that I shall set forth upon consummation of this transaction. I signed it and handed it to the young man who eagerly scratched out his signature. Where are the keys to my new house? he asked in a mocking tone of voice. All eyes were upon us as I stepped back from the table, pulling the keys from pocket and dangling them before the excited new homeowner. Now that we have entered into this binding contract, witnessed by all of your friends, I have decided upon the conditions you are obligated to adhere to from this point forward. You may only live in the house for one hour a day. You will not use anything inside the home. You will obey me without question or resistance. I expect complete loyalty and admiration for this gift I bestow upon you. You will accept my commands and wishes with enthusiasm, no matter the nature your morals and your principles shall be as mine. You will vote as I do, think as I do, and do it in blind faith. These are my terms. Here are your keys. I reached for the keys forward. I reached the keys forward, and the man looked at me dumbfounded. Are you out of your mind? Who would ever agree to those ridiculous terms? The young man appeared irritated. You did when you signed the contract, before reading it, understanding it, and with full knowledge that I would provide my conditions only after you committed to the agreement. The elderly man chuckled as his wife tried to restrain him. I was looking at a now silenced and bewildered group of people. You can shove that stupid deal up your blank, old man. I want no part of it, exclaimed the now infuriated young man. You have committed to a contract, as witnessed by all of your friends. You cannot get out of the deal unless I agree to it. I do not intend to let you free now that I have you in snarl, I am the power you agreed to. I am the one you blindly and without thought chose to enslave yourself to. In short, I, sir, am your master. At this, the table of celebrating individuals became a unified group against the fairness of the deal. After a few moments of unrepeatable comments and slurs, I revealed my true intent. What I did to you is what this administration and Congress did to you with the health care legislation. I easily suckered you in and then revealed the real cost of the bargain. Your folly was in the belief that you can have something you did not earn. And for that which you did not earn, you will willingly, you willingly allowed someone else to think for you. Your failure to research, study, and inform yourself permitted reason to escape you. You have entered into a trap from which you cannot flee. Your only chance of freedom is if your new master gives it to you. A freedom that is given can also be taken away. Therefore, it is not freedom at all. With that, I tore up the napkin and placed it before the astonished young man. This is the nature of your new health care legislation. 
I turned away to leave these few in thought and contemplation, and was surprised by the applause. The elderly gentleman, who was clearly entertained, shook my hand enthusiastically and said, Thank you, sir. These kids don't understand liberty. He refused to allow me to pay my bill, as he said, You earned this one. It is an honor to pick up the tab. I shook his hand in thanks, leaving the restaurant somewhat humbled and sensing a glimmer of hope for my beloved country. Remember, four boxes keep us free. The soap box, the ballot box, the jury box, and the cartridge box. Hopefully this will go around the United States so people can see just what is going on. Maybe even the political blind ones will learn something from it. Remember this, my friends. Henry Ford once said, Any man who thinks he can be happy and prosperous by letting the American government take care of him better take a closer look at the American Indian. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. Great big hugs and lots of love. Catch you guys later.